Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am really excited for today's video. I always say I'm excited for today's video, but I am. And I cannot believe this actually might be the last video. I might try to film one more. Um, but this might be the last video that goes up for 2019, which is crazy. I can't believe it. I'm going to try to like take off during the holiday time here, but I'm still going to try to post a couple things. I'm not sure if I'm going to get two videos up here before the new year or just this one. Um, but I thought this one would be super, super fun because honestly, it is something that one motivated me to kind of get out of a little bit, not a slump, but just like a a rut. I feel like I've been in a rut lately and it is so fun to do. So today we are going to take some outfits from Pinterest and let's just talk about Pinterest for a second. So Pinterest for me has been, and this is not sponsored by Pinterest. I hope, I hope everybody knows that. I don't have that kind of sponsorships yet um, or maybe ever, but I know that I just utilize Pinterest so much for inspiration, especially when I am in a rut of something. If it's my home or if it's food, like if we're in a food rut, I go straight to Pinterest. If I am in a style rut, I go straight to Pinterest and I start pinning a bunch of stuff that I just like and I find inspiration from. So lately what I've been doing, it's been super, super fun. So I thought I would do it today here and I'm going to take five of my pins and recreate the outfit with the things I have in my closet already. I did not go out and buy things. I didn't go out and like grab things, but I pinned a bunch of outfits that really it just inspired me and I liked and I liked the look of it and I'm gonna recreate them. So I am so excited. This is like such a fun video for me and putting together these outfits were like they were so fun and I totally advise you to do this as well. Go through your Pinterest board and literally take out the pieces in your, if you have like similar pieces even if they're slightly different um, you're gonna kind of see different type of things in my um, outfits that I have kind of recreated, but it's so much fun. It is so much fun. And it's also a great way to see like, ooh, like I pinned like 10 people with like a black bag and I don't have a black bag. I need a black bag. So that's like a great way to like kind of see what's missing in your closet as well. But I truly find more inspiration on Pinterest than I do on Instagram. On Instagram, it's more of pieces to buy. Um, and then for Pinterest me, it's all about just like how they styled it. Like, what do I have in my closet that's similar? And just the aesthetic of the like fun outfits that you see. So I'm really excited. So today we're going to style five different outfits from my Pinterest board and you can follow me on my Pinterest board. I have my Pinterest little um, link down below so you guys can check that out and let's go ahead. Let's get started. All right. So outfit number one, I'm going to put a picture now. All right. So this girl is wearing a kind of like camely caramel turtleneck sweater which i do have something very similar a leopard skirt which i do have a long leopard skirt it's definitely shaped differently it has like a pleatedness to it and it's chiffon but i'm gonna try it out and then i'm also going to put she has some like long boots on here Kind of like over it looks like she's wearing over the knee boots just underneath her skirt so i actually have a pair of black over the knee boots that i'm just gonna slip under so i love this outfit i don't have a black chanel bag like she does and i don't think i have a pair of sunglasses like hers but i absolutely love the actual outfit i do have a black bag so i'll just pair it with it but i think it's so cute and we'll see if we can kind of recreate this look Let's go. All right, so here we are with outfit number one, and I had to adjust some things. She obviously had her sweater just kind of hanging out. I had to kind of slightly tuck it in just because this is such a long sweater, and this is a wider skirt, so it would kind of just swallow me if I didn't give myself a little bit of a waist there. And then also, mine is maxi length and not um, kind of like calf length. 
So that's the difference, but it's actually kind of sheer on the bottom so you can see the boots through. I have a black bag. I actually would have never thought to wear like this color with a leopard skirt together, but I'm in love with it and I love adding the black accents. I think it's so adorable. I actually would totally wear this out and there's outfit number one. Okay, here is outfit number two. I'll show you guys here. Okay, so this one you can't even see like her head, which is fine because I still love the aesthetic. I love the fact that she has a camel coat with like a match, almost like monochromatic um, kind of sweater underneath. So I do have a long camel coat that I wear all the time. Um, and then I have a similar colored sweater. Mine's like a little bit of like a heavier knit or like a chunkier knit one, but I still think it'll look really cute some distressed jeans, which I definitely have, and some leopard booties, which is super cute. I also have a Louis bag, so I'm gonna pair that with it too. So I think this is such a cute outfit. I've actually had this pinned for a while and I've wanted to recreate it, so let's go. All right, so here we are with outfit number two and I have my camel really long coat I love. I've actually had this for a couple years now and I love it. It is one of my favorite coats. And then I actually have a sweater that almost matches, which is kind of what she's done in the picture there. So it kind of just like blends into each other. And then she wore the distressed denim, some leopard booties, her little Louis bag. <laughs> I love it. I have to say this is such a cute outfit. I would have never thought to actually like pair something that blends into my coat like this and then wear denim, but it looks so sleek and I love the pop of leopard. Just looks so cute. So love this outfit. Okay. Outfit number three. Now I'm going to give you guys a look. Okay, so I absolutely love the layered look of this and I don't have like exact booties like she does. They're very low cut and pointed, but I have a pair of black booties that I will kind of interchange out. I have a pair of distressed skinnies like that. I have like a lighter camel coat, although it's thinner, um, but I could still wear it, especially if I'm wearing a chunky gray turtleneck sweater and like that kind of window pane um, shirt underneath there. I think it's so cute and chic. I have a black bag already that I've shared um, in the other outfit that I'll pair it with. I don't have a Celine bag, but I love the aesthetic of this and I think it's so cute. So. Let's try it out. All right, so here is outfit number three. You guys, I love this outfit. It is so cute. The only thing is my jacket, I always wear this. I wear this one in the fall, so I always wear lighter things and to have a lot of like chunky layers, it's a little snug, <laughs> but it's still really, really cute. The coloring together is so cute. It actually makes me want a heavier coat of this. Um, I'll link this one down below. It's from Chic Wish. I've had it for a couple years and I love it. It is such a good fall jacket. Um, then this sweater is from H&M. This is actually a super old window pane blouse from Forever 21. I'll try to find a couple if I can, um, I'll link down below if I can find a couple. And then a pair of distressed skinnies, my black little booties, a black bag, you guys. I love it, I think it's so cute. I have not worn this combination like ever. And now I have a whole new outfit that I- All right, outfit and number four. This one might be my favorite, although I really have to adjust some things because I don't have what she has, but here's a look. All right, so outfit number four, she looks like she's wearing a good chunky knit cable cream sweater, which I definitely have, a brown scarf, which I actually just got in the mail. This is the only thing I got, but I didn't get it because of this video. I actually got it because I felt like I would wear it a ton and it would go with my wardrobe. And I love the way she styled it with the cream sweater and then some straight leg um, denim and those shoes I definitely don't have that she's wearing. They're kind of, um, I don't know, but they look kind of like my free people shoes. So I'm going to kind of switch those in for them. A black bag I have, and then I don't have a black beret, but I'm going to pair it with a black beanie instead and we'll see what it looks like. All right, here we are with outfit number four and 
Let me tell you how much I love this scarf and this cream sweater together. It is just so cute. So obviously she has like a black beret on, but I only have a black like winter beanie <laughs> so that's what I wore but I still really like it it's just an accessory and it's black so it just kind of like ties in the bag a little bit I think and then I wore my Madewell straight leg jeans this sweater is from H&M actually it was a recent probably within the last month purchase so I'll see if it's still available the scarf I said was a re recent purchase and then I have my little free people flats on so it's kind of like the same vibe a little bit I love it. I think it's so cute. And I kind of just want to wear this today because I love it that much. <laughs> All right, and then here is outfit number five. Okay, I love how she paired the white skinnies with a charcoal gray chunky sweater. I don't have a charcoal knit um, or charcoal gray knit sweater. I actually just have this sweatshirt, so I'm just gonna go in with it. I, I think it's like a similar tone. And then grabbing like a lighter gray scarf. I love the pairing of it. A black hat, a black bag, and white skinnies, or just white jeans. I only have white skinnies. Um, hers look more of like a straight leg cut, but I love it. And then a tote booty. I just love this outfit. I think it's so chic and so fun, and let's attempt to recreate it. Okay, outfit number five. I think actually worked really, really well. I was nervous about this one because I didn't have something like, I mean, this is a charcoal gray, but it wasn't like a chunky knit, so I didn't know how it would tie in, but I absolutely, absolutely love the combination of this. A charcoal gray with a lighter gray, pairing that together is actually so pretty, and it's a less kind of harsh than putting black, but then adding the black accent and then the white pants is like so cute together. I love it. I would have never thought to put this together. And then also wearing a lighter boot on the bottom. I think if I would have done this myself, I probably would have thought to do a darker boot, but then it would have cut me off because I'm wearing such light pants. So I absolutely love the fact that she wore a tote booty and it still looks so cute together. I love it. I think I pulled it off. I'm not really sure, but I really like this outfit. I think I kind of copied it pretty good. All right, guys, so that is it for my recreating Pinterest outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I highly, highly suggest trying this out and going into your Pinterest board and trying to recreate the outfit with things you already have. And replacing things in and out, it actually makes me like make new outfits and like think of different ways to wear what I already have. So I hope this inspired you. Like this video if you liked it. And if you definitely want to see this again, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not, and I will see you guys next year. Bye.